Point nyingine ambayo nataka pia tuzungumze is what? Safety and security. As a people, as a country, you cannot talk of prosperity kama uongei mambo ya safety and security. Na obviously ufisadi pia iko haja ya kuzungumziwa. Na finally is responsibilities and rights. Haki. So therefore I want to focus on my three principal areas. And I personally feel if we could effectively address these issues it would cover all issues captured by His Excellency President Uhuru and Right Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga. So issue number one, shared prosperity, which means economic inclusion. Because I believe we would not have all the problems that we are facing today if there was economic inclusion. We know very well. Kitu naitwa economic sabotage. Ilikuwa the epitome of our politics. And it continues kutukera na kuzungumzia maslahi ya watu wetu. So haya yote I will break them down pole pole but like I said mwishowe tutaleta a written memorandum. Number two is effective devolution. Because I believe devolution is the most effective way to transfer the wealth of a nation to its citizens. If we achieve effective revolution, we shall promote allocation efficiency, which means we shall match the needs of our people to our nation's wealth in the best possible way. Third, structure of government. For this, I want to concentrate on three major issues. Effective representation, effective oversight, and inclusive executive. Kuna watu hapa tayari washanza kwenda mbio. Wanaogopa kuzungumza. There is a discussion on referendum. Watu waanza kusema, oh, hawa wanataka kuleta referendum to create positions for other people. But my point is this. Have we forgotten what happened in 2008? We were forced into a conversation. 2008 tuliingizwa pale lazima lazima by eminent uh, international friends of, of Kenya came the late Kofi and others wakasema watu wazungumze ndio pale kukawa na ofisi ya waziri mkuu na ofisi ya rais after so many lives had been lost Kenya ikatulia and tukaweka rekodi kwamba hakuna nchi iliweza ku recover as fast as we as Kenya kwa mambo kama haya ya ukabila so mimi nitazungumzia tu my thinking is that there is no loss or harm kuona kwamba kuna serikali ambayo imebeba kila mtu kila mtu and effective representation effective representation is not necessarily in the numbers it is not it may not be in the numbers so therefore hata ugavi wa serikali watu walikuwa wanachukulia hii ugatuzi for granted but let me tell you one of the focus areas whereas even now in any conversation hata ukifungua magazeti utaona habari nyingi za counties kuliko national government we are not in competition but obviously because of the resources ambazo zimepelekwa wapi mashinani so therefore i want to go from one point to the other mr chairman on shared prosperity i propose i propose economic reparations program to run over a decade 
We need to settle all historical issues. And we need to set, settle them once and for all. So that we totally bring these issues of historical injustices to a close. Weo neza kuna tafauti. For example, hapa Mombasa, ama Kwale, ama generally coast, everybody talks of historical injustices on matters land. But also remember, kuna watu wanaongea historical injustices on massacre. On massacre and other issues. So therefore, we must look at programs that will compensate victims of historical injustices in whatever manner and bring it to a permanent close. Two, torture is an issue. Forceful eviction is an issue. Forceful disappearance is also an issue. Since you have a comfort zone, but there could be people sitting somewhere who cannot account for their own family members. That must be discussed and find a way to bring it to a permanent closure. The other point, Mr. Chairman, is uh, I propose that there be a public policy and investment and an investment commission that reviews the equity and fairness of national projects and equity and coverage of various national programs. That has the ability to stop a project, propose a project, or champion fairness in national and county public investment. Three, affirmative action, economic programs, carry out replacement pro uh, programs, replacement investments, where the detrimental economic cost of a project is replaced by commensurate investment. And this is the example of SGR here. Face it, hate it, like it. SGR has costed us as a people. Ninzuri, we've always said, tunataka. But how it affects us, also we must be able to put it to the table. So therefore, there has to be an independent body. And by hata wewe ukifanya biashara yako, unakuwa na vipimo. Unapima hasara na faida. Uwezi tu kuangalia faida peki yake. So, we are saying, and people must understand us, our livelihood here in the coastal region, by and large, tunategemea service industry. You know, service industry. Watu wetu wanategemea utenda kazi wa bandari na utali. Could you imagine if there was a body that would have looked at all the issues and said, SGR is coming, yes. But to be able to complement Haliza Kiuchumi, Ya Mombasa, Ya Kwale, Ama Ya Pwani, before we move with SGR to fanya kadha, 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 so our people don't feel the pinch. We didn't do that. And I want to be very categorically clear here. I have never opposed SGR. I'm only saying in the manner that SDR was undertaken, our people are suffering. Hawana maeneo mengine ya kulia na kutengenezea maisha yao. So therefore, in this discussion, tunataka tuone kwamba kuna mazungumzo broadly. And I'm not saying at Nisisi tu, in the entire republic, wakati we are undertaking a national project, you look at the pro and cons. And there has to be a body, in my opinion, a constitutional body that will be able to do what? To either put a stop. Because he Three is affirmative action. Economic programs carry out, 
replacement investment where I've already, I think, mentioned this point. Ndiyo hiyo ezia. Rime ni kera sana hii kitu. Na watu watawa ingine walikuwa nasema tuangalie mbele. Hatuwezi kuenda mbele kabla ujaangalie ya nyuma. We cannot. Two days ago there were drivers here demonstrating. Nasema we had jobs. I want Mr. Achoki, Mr. Achoki can confirm this. Even though I'm sure he's not in a position to say kwa mba ni nane nafanya wahalifu, lakini sahi we have challenges of insecurity. He is doing his best, I understand. But it is a reality. Jana kulikuwa na watu kama watatu wamepigwe mpanga kaza ndani. Junda. Likoni siku hizi kuna vijana wanajita wajukua bibi. Kisauni kuna wakali kwanza. Na kuna wengine wengi ambayo wanachipuka. Do we ask ourselves, that very important question what could be the cause do we have opportunities for these young people wana ajira wana uwezo wa kusoma na yote hayo yote haya mimi nasema wengine wanasemanga oh sijui even the discussion of shared prosperity shared prosperity is broad uanze paka elimu chekechea sasa hivi sisi, we are celebrating and we are happy that President Uhuru now saw it fit that he wouldn't focus on the blue economy. And for the first time, there is going to be a maritime institution independent from KPA being created here. For the first time. But what we want to do is to ensure we even prepare our people to be able to compete with other Kenyans. Hakuna njia. We were the last as a region to get universities here. We were the last. Hapa tum ilipeana wanafikiri miaka mitatu minne tu ilopita. Taita Taita Taveta University has now been made into a full-fledged university about roughly three, four years ago. So we were the last. Then you expect us to compete. Na watu ambayo walikuwa wanasoma na institutions at their doorstep kwa miaka hamsini lopita. How? So therefore, these issues are broad. And therefore, huwezi kuwa isolate one issue from the other. Donataka tuseme kwamba, as we engage, we need to look at how we will prepare our citizens to participate in the building of our country. Ki uchumi, ki rasilmali, I want to go now to effective devolution. And I mean by true fiscal decentralization. Reorganization of our tax schedule. The power to tax. National government has, in my opinion, to let go some ability to tax income tax, corporate tax, customs, excess, and VAT, and others.